Welcome to Christian Life's This Day in Religious History. In this series, we take a look at significant and notable religious events that have happened on this date in the past. This will only be a short video. However, we do indeed hope and pray that you find it useful. So here goes. On this day, the 19th of October, in 1720, Quaker minister John Woolman was born in Rancocas, New Jersey. He was a North American merchant, tailor, journalist, and itinerant Quaker preacher, and an early abolitionist in the colonial era. He was known for his concerns to live a simple life, exemplifying, quote, the right use of things, unquote, and to end war, slavery, and injustice towards the poor and to Native Americans. In 1755, he decided to oppose paying those colonial taxes that supported the Seven Years' War and urged tax resistance among fellow Quakers in the Philadelphia meeting, even at a time when settlers on the frontier were being attacked by French and allied Native Americans. His journal, written from 1756 to 1772, influenced 19th century abolitionists and demonstrated his concern for both the oppressors and the oppressed. He died on the 7th of October, 1772, of smallpox in York and was buried on the 9th, aged 51. In 1963, the John Woolman School was founded in his honour in Nevada City, California, as a college preparatory boarding school serving students in grades 10 to 12. The Woolman Institute was established at Wilmington College during the 1980s, and in 2003, a group of scholars of peace and justice studies founded the John Woolman College of Active Peace, which seeks to mainstream many Quaker concepts of peace and peacemaking into higher education. Thank you for listening, and please do tune in for tomorrow's This Day in Religious History. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe, like and comment, not forgetting to press the bell sign so that you're notified when new videos are posted. May God go with you today and always.